Hey, so I want to talk about now what this thing is capable of, what this little sucker can do, right? Um, so in basically no time at all, I was able to create this really cool animation. Um, and it's really actually very simple. So let's, uh, let me walk you through it. First, I'm going to create one object and I'll duplicate it. And just duplicate it over and over. So now I have all these different things. They're called PQ1, and since I didn't name it, it's just PQ2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, let's go ahead and, as a whole, set some keys. So one on 20, one on 1, and one on 10 right in the middle. So it just goes like this all at once. They're all moving simultaneously, but I want them to stagger instead. So uh, a couple things to note is how does it want to think about these things? Selection order by name or selection order as selected doesn't really matter. Um, I've been using name just because it makes sense to me, but you can play around with it, see what you find. I'm going to hit the stagger button, and I don't play with this. I don't play with this. I haven't done random. Um, I haven't really done any of this. I've just been using these two buttons or this whole row right here. This row will do a time offset, and this row will give a value offset. So if I don't click stagger and I click this button, take a look down at the bottom, I'm just going to be moving all of these keyframes for every object forward one frame every time I hit this. So if I take a look up here and I click on translate Z or translate Y even and I click these blue buttons, this one is a positive value offset. So I click this and it changes it and moves it up one, all of them, moves it up two for the entire duration, okay? So even though here their highest value is 1.7, if I click this button, it moves it up to 2.7, but the lowest it gets to is one, it's because it's moved it up one. Now, how this is really cool is to hit stagger, and then this button, positive time offset. So if we take a look down here, we can see that it looks like it's a ton of keyframes. And that's because um, this value, the translate Y value, has been offset. Let's take a look. That's it. Let me walk you through that one more time, real, real simple. Take a cube, duplicate it, move it over, get a whole bunch of duplicates. You can do the same thing if you do a duplicate special. As a group, let's set some keys. Make sure the stagger button is selected, and then just hit this button, positive time offset. That's it.